Well, welcome to my workshop. First, I wanted to just talk a little bit about the small hive beetle and why they're a concern for your beehives. The small hive beetle uh, hasn't been around for a, a long time, but it's been long, around long enough to become a very destructive pest for beehives. They can cause uh, significant damage to the comb if they get in and, and uh, into your hive and there's enough of them. Uh, they can burrow in and cause a real problem uh, in the comb and uh, they can get into the honey. They burrow in under the, the, uh, the cells of your honeycomb uh, and they go after the, the stored honey, any honey or nectar that's in there and pollen as well. You know, one of the things, one of the things we have to be careful of and why we're talking about this is if you leave uh, the small hive beetle unchecked and they get to be sufficiently numerous in the hive and you, you'll see them. I mean, as soon, if you're a new beekeeper and for you existing beekeepers, you know, you can, uh, if you don't have a protected hive and you take the cover off of a, a beehive, you'll see uh, a lot of those little black small hive beetles running all over the place. And, you know, conventional uh, wisdom says, get in your hive with your hive tool and smush them and kill them. We want to take better care of our, our hives and we want to, to do some uh, additional controls and prevention if we can do it. Um, the, the, the less that the bees have to deal with with those pests, uh, the better off the hive is going to be. Uh, left to their own devices, uh, honeybees do try to maintain and manage the uh, small hive beetle, the pests, any pests in their, uh, in their hive. Um, and I don't have a good example, and I was looking for one um, earlier today to see if I could show you one, uh, but I couldn't find one uh, to make it readily available to show you. But the bees on top of the, uh, the frames will build what we call uh, hive beetle jails uh, out of propolis. And uh, if you, once you've had a hive around long enough and if it has hive beetles, you, you'll probably see it. They end up like little round circles about like you know, maybe the size of a, a nickel or so, where the, the bees will corral the, uh, the hive beetles and keep them locked in jail. The other concern that we have is if the uh, hive beetles get more numerous than the bees can really deal with, and they can, and, very, and <laughs> certainly um, I've seen a lot of hive beetles in, in some colonies. If they get out of control, they can actually uh, cause the bees to abscond or abandon the hive. And uh, we don't want that. And of course, the hive, the hive beetles and uh, everything else, all the other pests would love that because they come in and they can start tearing that, uh, that comb up and any resources. And, and if you've ever been into a hive with little white, maybe off color white, yellow maggots is essentially what they are, uh, the larva of the small hive beetle, it's really nasty. And you, I, I had a picture on the, the cover here and I might add it again here so you can see it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not fun. And essentially you're, you're gonna lose that, anything that that's you know, been touched by those maggots. It's, it's not, it's liquidy and uh, they really desiccate it and it's, it's not good. Behind me are some of the mechanisms that we use to control and uh, in some cases try to help prevent the small hive beetles. And I'm going to get into them here really quickly. Okay, the first one I wanted to talk about was Swiffer sheets. Um, if you've been around long enough or on YouTube long enough uh, or be Facebook or wherever groups are, are gathering talking about bees, small high beetles is often a topic that comes up, especially now in spring and summer, really big, big time in summer. But uh, Swiffer sheets is one of the recommendations that you'll hear about. Uh, when you do use Swiffer sheets, and I've used them, this is a, a Swiffer sheet that came from a hive, and you can see where the bars went right across here, um, and there's a little propolis here. This one wasn't in too awful long. Anyway, um, these will catch small hive beetles, uh, and the bees will kind of fuzz it up. Um, you can probably see uh, where it's been fuzzed up right here. Um, and it gets tangled up, the, the small hive beetle's legs get tangled up in that, and it captures them. Um, over time, if you leave these in too long, they just kind of shrivel up and they get hard and crusted and uh, become less effective. 
uh, very quickly. One of the downsides is you can catch bees in that, especially when it's fuzzed up because the bees legs will get caught in it too. Um, so it's, you know, one of those things you have to be careful of. If you do use the Swiffer sheets, uh, make sure you get uh, a dry Swiffer unscented. So a dry Swiffer sheet. The next thing behind me here are, um, I guess they call the beetle blasters. And you can get these in, in quantities. You know, there's a box of them here. And there's a lot of things you can do to uh, catch hive beetles with these. Essentially, it's kind of like a, a beetle jail, like I talked about earlier, what the bees create uh, themselves. And what happens is you put this between a couple of frames, it just slides right in between some frames, uh, typically in the top boxes, and you can put them in every layer if you want. Um, I usually do uh, two per layer uh, when I use these, and uh, you see they hold stuff. It's, it's a container, a vessel to hold stuff. And people will tell you to put oils, um, different types of oils that you can put into these, or uh, diatomaceous earth. Uh, I prefer the diatomaceous earth because I don't like having like oils and stuff like that inside my hive. Not that I really care for diatomaceous earth either, but between the two, I would rather have the diatomaceous earth. And when you fill these up, you, they, there's no real opening. You can't open them. Um, you just have to kind of uh, fill these up through the top with these little vents. And then when you've got it filled up, wipe it off, you know, damp cloth or something to clean off the top because uh, diatomaceous earth will kill your bees as well. And what happens is the bees will get into, uh, uh, you put these in and the, the bees will get the hive beetles and they'll chase them. And the beetles will go down into these slots and meet their demise. Um, so anyway, that's uh, another controlling uh, mechanism for small hive beetles in your hives. Uh, similar to that uh, is you can get these in bulk as well. And uh, these ones are a little bit different. So essentially you can see that these grab onto a frame and it goes on like this. You just kind of slip them over and they sit on a frame um, and they've got the little thing, little, little latches there to allow it to hook on. And it, again, it goes between frames. Another frame would go right here, top of the box, uh, whatever box you're putting it in, usually in the back, toward, put them towards the back. And the bees, again, will chase the high beetles into the little slots that are up here. They've got little slots. One of the advantages of this kind of beetle trap is that it's reusable. Um, you can open these and uh, refill them. So they just snap open. They got a little tab here and you just uh, open it and you can refill it, empty it out, clean it out. So it makes it reusable versus this one, uh, which is really more disposable, you know, the, uh, once the bees are, uh, have used it and they've filled it up, pretty much you just want to take these out and trash them. They're pretty cheap. These aren't expensive either, but uh, you can fill that up and then latch it back down and it's ready to go. Just put it into your hive just like you do the other one. Another type of beetle trap are these little, uh, I want to call them uh, cassettes, um, cases. Um, I think, you know, when these, before these came out, people were using uh, old CD cases um, and then they would uh, break a tab off and then fill it up with some uh, things to trap hive beetles. The way you use this is you open this up and it's got little uh, tabs that, you know, latch it closed. Um, let me see if I can open it here. There we go. And inside is a little, like a little maze. And what you would do is you would fill this center section, this little square, um, with some type of bait uh, for the hive beetles. These are kind of more control uh, based mechanisms for small hive beetle. One of the things I wanted to point out is if you do, do use diatomaceous earth, um, I recommend getting a food grade. This is a food grade uh, diatomaceous earth. And I believe this is available on Amazon and I'm going to put a link down below in the description. I'll put a link down to, into the description for all of these products. That said, I wanted to get into the more prevention side of small hive beetles. There are a couple products that I've used in helping prevent small hive beetles getting into your hive to begin with. One of those is uh, called the Guardian uh, Hive Entrance. 
and this basically is a mechanism. You put it onto uh, your entrance reducer that you would put into your uh, hive and the entrance of your hive. It screws in. And the way it works is that the bees can still come in and fly in and out of this. They get up here, but the hive beetles can't fly directly into this little slot. It, basically, uh, small hive beetles will land on the landing board of your hive or entrance and they walk in. Um, so they can't fly directly in. And what this will do is um, it lets the bees fly in, the hive beetles start walking around and this is pit, put on the bottom board so that they can walk all the way around this thing and not get into the hive. So the Guardian Beehive entrance, I've used these. Um, I've got a number of them here and I like them. I've been using them for quite a while. Uh, this is the production model that you'll get now that you, if you order them, uh, it's got the uh, slotted, I guess a landing pad for the bees, but it still works the exact same way. Um, it's got a ledge that the bees, that the small hive beetles walk around, but they can't get into your hive through this. It, I want to be clear too, is that this is a preventative measure and it's not 100% effective. You'll, using these, you'll still see a couple of uh, hive beetles in your, in your hives, even if you have these in place, but the numbers will be greatly reduced. And I'll provide a link down in the description of where you can get the Guardian Beehive entrance. That all said, I have been moving to a, a more, let's say it's, it's, it's a little pricier, but it's worth the money um, as far as small hive beetles go. I'm a small time backyard beekeeper. I'm not a commercial beekeeper. Most of these products won't work for your commercial beekeepers. And, and honestly, commercial beekeepers probably don't even have the time to mess with this. I'm talking to um, you guys, the small backyard beekeepers, hobbyists, and that's what these products are for. But this thing right here <laughs> has saved a number of hives, a number of my hives for sure. This is the uh, a Beetle Buster baseboard. And this is some really um, good technology. I believe they just got their patent and it works kind of similar to the Guardian in that you'll see this has got a slot right here. Let me see if I can hold this up and hopefully you guys will get a good view of it. But it's got a slot right here where, remember I told you the bees, the small high beetles come and they land on your board and they walk, try and walk in. So this got a slot and this slot, I won't let them get into the hive. The other piece to this is if anything does get in, in some form or fashion, one of the beetles gets in um, in some way, uh, or if you have a hive that's infected uh, with a lot of hive beetles, this thing can save your hive. The Beetle Buster baseboards, um, it's, you'll see it's got these holes, it's kind of ventilated, um, but what this is for is for the bees to chase the hive beetles down into these holes. And I'm gonna show you the backside of this underneath. Um, it has this tray and on this tray, you would put diatomaceous earth. And in fact, they send you a package of diatomaceous earth to get you started. Basically, you just put the diatomaceous earth all over this board and uh, you slide it back under the hive. Just slot, it's kind of like a uh, ventilated bottom board, but you slide that in, make sure you slide it in all the way. Once the bees in your hive um, have the opportunity to chase the beetles down through these holes, they, the beetles go down, they drop down into the diatomaceous earth and it's game over. Uh, if you've got a hive that's infected um, and has tons and tons of hive beetles, if you put this in place, even if it's just for a short time, just to help with those bees uh, and deal with the small hive beetle, put this in, leave it in overnight, and you'll be amazed at how many beetles get chased out and killed. I mean, essentially overnight. I like to use these and put them in place on my, on my hives. Um, I've had a couple in place um, for over a year. And uh, after that, uh, after a bit of time, you'll want to bring them back in and clean them up and uh, re-oil them. Uh, the wood, this is wood, it's good solid construction. Um, but this is kind of like uh, the, the, the answer to that, that I'm going to for all of my, my beehives. Uh, I have uh, a number of uh, beehives and this baseboard has saved 
several. I mean, I live in Texas uh, and we get our fair share of small hive beetle. So this is a, an excellent choice if you want to prevent um, small hive beetle or, or if you have a problem hive beetle infestation on one of your hives, get one of these and uh, put it in place and see what, see what happens. You'll be amazed. The other piece to this, sorry for that racket, is they do have an entrance reducer for the, the uh, Beetle Buster baseboards now. And basically this just slides in. You slide that in and you've got an entrance reducer. It's a good, good solution. Uh, I'll put a link down to the Beetle Buster guys. Beetle Buster USA is really good to work with. Um, they really care about bees and, uh, and beekeepers. So that's a really good choice. So that's kind of where I'm gonna wrap up today. And no matter what you do, uh, if 